Good evening and welcome to Midweek Mana on Wednesday, August 23rd at 8 p.m. Uh, my apologies for not uh, posting this morning the uh, Midweek Mana and I thank you for those who uh, forgave me and I hope that those have not will. So tonight I want to talk about wisdom. We're still talking about the book of James and when we talk about wisdom it's basically how you make decisions about how you live your life. Do you make wise decisions or do you make stupid decisions? It's as simple as that. And when we have the wisdom of God, then others will see that reflected in the decisions that we make. Think about that. The decisions that you make when people look at you, and especially if they know that you are a Christ follower, they will know if you truly are a beloved child of God in the way we make decisions and in the way we treat other people. We all think usually before we speak and many of us are wise enough not to say the first thing that comes to mind. I was listening to a comedian uh, on the radio the other day and he asked his father how did he and his wife, his mom basically, stay married as long as they did and have. And he said three things. One, never say what comes to your mind at first second don't say the second thing to come into your mind and third say that and I believe the reason he did that is because a lot of times we don't think about what we're gonna say we just jump off and we react and don't pause breathe and decide if the decision or what is going to come out of my mouth is going to build that person up and encourage them or is it going to knock them down and tear them up tear them down excuse me in james 3 chapter 3 verses 13 through 18 he talks about wisdom he says who is wise and understanding among you show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom but if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts do not be boastful and false to the truth such wisdom does not come down from above but it is earthly unspiritual and devilish for where there is envy and selfish ambition there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind but the wisdom from above is first pure then peaceable gentle willing to yield full of mercy and good fruits without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace so your life reflects your decisions your life reflects what you say and your actions that you make so I challenge you to think about what you're gonna say before you say it um, when people ask you things or when challenges are coming around you to just think about what is the wise and best thing to say. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, I thank you right now for the opportunity to come every every Wednesday in the morning and in the evening to talk and to share just a little bit about what you have given to us through your scripture. God, I pray that this word will bless someone when they hear it, no matter where they are in the world and whenever they listen to it. May it indeed remind them that what they say and their actions all reflect the wisdom of you or the wisdom of themselves. God, continue to be with those that are suffering uh, in physical pain. A uh, beautiful friend of mine who's dealing with issues with her spine, and I pray, God, that she will be able to get the, the pain stimulator that she needs. God, there are people who are emotionally hurting, spiritually hurting, and I ask right now, God, you just go to them and just touch them. Give them peace in their body and their minds and their spirits and their souls. I thank you for all that you continue to do for us and through us, and sometimes, God, even in spite of us. We claim all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Ashe. Thank you again. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.